Have you ever received a beautiful orchid plant as a gift and enjoyed these beautiful blossoms for, you know, several months? And then all of a sudden they fall off and all you have are green leaves and you don't know what to do with it. So you look at it for a while and then eventually you toss it out. Well, I know I did. Since then, I've learned a few things about orchids that I'd like to share with you, especially the one big thing not to do. So stay tuned to find out what this is. Hi, I'm Sandy from Sandy Over 70. Thanks for watching. I hope you'll consider subscribing to my channel and clicking the little bell so you can be notified when I post new videos. I'm not an expert on orchids, but at one point I had 22 orchid plants and almost all of them were blooming. And then disaster struck. Oh, they all stopped blooming for two years. I'll tell you what I did that caused that. I remember getting my first orchid plant. It was a door prize from an event I went and I brought it home and I enjoyed it for however long those blooms lasted. And then I looked at it and said, what do I do now? All I had was green leaves. <laughs> so I put it outside under a stairwell. I mean, really? I mean, that was before the internet, so it wasn't possible to look up care of orchids, but it died, of course, and that was that. But many years later, I got another orchid gift, and it was a beauty. And then for some reason, I got two more. So now I had a collection. You know, they say three is a collection. So I figured I better, you know, do something with them. I'm not even sure if I read anything about orchids. I just knew that with my African violets, lighting was the key and watering was the key. So I had a beautiful sunroom with light and not direct sun, which the African violets liked. And I thought, well, maybe the orchids will like that too. And they did. And then I started buying a few more to add to my collection and it came with directions. And it said, add three ice cubes once a week. I thought that was the craziest thing I'd ever heard of, but I checked it out on the internet and sure enough, that was something you could do to regulate the amount of water that you give orchids because overwatering can cause problems with them. So for several years, I took a bucket of ice cubes from my ice maker and I put three in each of my plants. Now, the other thing that happened was I was becoming so successful with blooming orchids that I went to Lowe's and at that time they would sell out their orchid plants that had stopped blooming for, you know, a dollar or two. And I was getting so confident that I bought a whole bunch of these every time I went in and I said, I'm going to bring these guys back to life. And I did just by giving them the three ice cubes and having the right light. So that's how I managed to get 22 orchid plants going. And after quite a few years, I noticed that they weren't blooming very well anymore and that they looked kind of packed in their pots. So I read a book on orchids and it said that you need to repot them every so often. And I thought, well, that's a project I can do. So I got a table outside and I took each of the orchid plants and pulled it out of its pot and I shook the, the uh, roots and I put new potting mixture in and I put the roots back in, but I couldn't actually get them back in the same pots because those roots get really long. And so, and you're going to not believe what I did. I actually took a scissors and I cut some of the roots to make them fit in the pot. Don't ever do that. I mean, really. In fact, I, I could honestly say try to avoid repotting plants, orchid plants, if you possibly can, because this is what happened. I had no blooms for the next two years. 
and it broke my heart. I just looked at these green leaves and I knew it was me that I'd done something to them. So in the process of my move to this new house, I knew I had to get rid of some of these orchids plants because I didn't have the space here. So I took the ones that didn't look so good and, you know, disposed of them. And I got it down to, I think I have, let's see, three, six, four, eight, maybe eight, nine, ten of them left at this point. These are two of my beauties. And I replaced them with some new ones basically because those old ones would not grow anymore. And I think that, I don't think I have any of the old ones left, maybe one or two. But at this moment, almost all of them are blooming and they are glorious as you can see from these two. But what I wanted to tell you is, try not to repot them. And if you do, don't cut the roots. And, you know, if you have to get a bigger pot to stuff all those long roots in, I think that would be the best solution. Like I said, I'm no expert, but I've had really good luck with orchids. So if I can pass this little tip on to you, it might help. Now, the key thing with orchids is watering. We all water too much. We overwater. So I would recommend that three ice cube trick if you're having trouble. I did that for many years, but it got so cumbersome because I had to keep filling up my bucket and it took a long time to put those ice cubes into 22 uh, orchid plants. I mean, not that long, but I thought, I don't think I need to do this anymore. The three ice cubes are equal to a quarter cup of water. So I filled up a quarter cup measuring device and then I poured it in to the orchid and I just to see how much water that was and then I started using my watering can and I would put in just about what I thought was a quarter cup and that's what I've been doing it's so much quicker and easier the other thing is I water them once a week I have drainage in the bottom of the pots because they do not like sitting in water at all so there's always a hole in the bottom and I put a saucer to catch the excess. The water will run straight through. The other key thing is the lighting. If you have direct sun on them for any length of time, they're going to burn. And if you put them in a dark place, they will never bloom. So if you have a room with lots of light, that's where it's going to work. And my new house fortunately has a sunroom and uh, the orchids are doing very well. I want to add one more story. I lived in South Florida for many years. And in fact, we had two homes for a while and I would spend six months in North Carolina and six months in South Florida. And at one time I had some orchid plants and I hung them in the trees outside the back of the house. And they hung there for six months while we were gone. And I figured when I came back, they would be long dead. But they had fallen on the ground and they were blooming their little hearts out, laying there on their sides. Now we get some, some severe winds in South Florida and they had been knocked out of the tree. But the trees are the perfect environment for orchid plants because they like dappled light. Now, when I first read that, I had to look up dappled because I wasn't quite sure what dappled light was. Dappled light is as if you were dabbing light on it in certain spots. It's the kind of light that a plant would get if it were hanging in a tree and the leaves were obscuring the sun so it would just get pieces of light. I don't know how else to describe it, but also the high humidity and the constant rains in the summer in South Florida were perfect for orchids. And of course, orchids are grown all over South Florida. There's an entire arboretum full of orchids down there. But I thought that was so funny. They were laying all topsy-turvy on the ground, but blooming away. 
And the other thing I wanted to tell you is I do give them some plant food occasionally. Um, this is what I use. It's by miracle Grow, and you spray it on the leaves. It says um, to avoid the flowers, which of course I do, and spray it on the leaves and the potting mixture. And you can do it once a week, but I forget. But when I do do it, I usually give each plant two sprays. And, you know, I don't know if it really helps or not, but it certainly can't hurt. If you have any other tips, please put them in the comments below because I'm always open to suggestions and I'm sure everyone else who's watching this is looking for suggestions on how to make these orchids happy because when they bloom, they make me very happy. Thanks for watching. And if you enjoyed this, please give me a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe. Have a great day. Bye. Baby, I believe, oh, hold me closer.